to Father John and Jack Schwarbert, um, I am forever grateful for this opportunity uh, to lead this football program. Um, I'm ready. I'm ready for this challenge, and I'm ready to lead this program to the greatest heights. The chance to lead the, the football program at the University of Notre Dame is an opportunity of a lifetime, and I would never take that for granted. Being this leader of this program, it isn't about one person, and it never will be. Being the leader of this program is about understanding to be successful on this journey, it's going to take others, and we're going to have to do this as a team. And that's why doing it at the University of Notre Dame is so special. It's special because of the people. The people here make this opportunity special. The people that are currently here, the students, the faculty, the countless other people that step on this campus, the people that have come through Notre Dame and have planted themselves throughout the world, the Notre Dame network that at any moment, for any reason, will find you a solution. The players. I was looking for a term to describe you, and Katie helped me come up with one that, that really, really exemplifies what you are. You're exceptional thinkers. You're exceptional thinkers. You never look for the easy path. You never take short, most of you never take shortcuts. <laughs> you're tireless workers, and you're committed to excellence in everything you do, and that's what separates you. Over the past few days, I've spoken to a lot of leaders that I respect for any advice on being a first-time head coach. And the answer has all been the same. Just be you. So who is Marcus Freeman? Well, I'm the son of a man who was in the Air Force for 26 years. I'm the son of a woman who was born in Korea that came over here in 1976. But I tell you that because that's who I am. I get my discipline, my work ethic, my honesty from my father. I get my unselfishness and other-centered focus from my mother. And that's exactly how I'll lead this football program. We will be disciplined. We will be tough. We will work tirelessly. But we will do it with the understanding that no one person, no one coach is more important than another. And as a team and as a family, we will accomplish all of our goals. I plan on leading this team with an unwavering standard. We will call it the golden standard. So what is the golden standard? Number one is challenge everything. This is why I'm here. Our leaders challenge normalcy. Our athletic director, our president challenge normalcy. Challenge everything is a mentality to find a better way. Number two is unit strength. Unit strength means love. It's making a choice to love your teammates. It's what turns players into a team. And number three is the competitive spirit. It's creating a winner's mindset. I believe that leaders are born, but winners are created. And you're created through intentional actions. And as I previously stated, this standard will be unwavering. And this is the standard that will drive this football program to its 12th national championship. Lastly, there's a few thank yous I want to give. I want to start with my wife, Joanna. My wife, my partner, um, thank you for your unselfishness. Thank you for always being there and your support most of the time. You can be my toughest critic, but thank you for just being there. To my kids, Vinny, Sienna, Gino, Rocco, Capri, Nico, sorry, I got all six, there he is. <laughs> you didn't ask for this, you didn't, you didn't ask to share your dad, but you have to, and I love you. <sighs> to Father Jenkins, Jack Swarbert, thank you for challenging everything. Thank you for making a decision to believe in a 35-year-old first-time head coach. And I vow to work tirelessly to never disappoint you. Damn. <laughs> I 
be back there laughing either. All right, to the Board of Trustees and countless others that approved my hire, thank you. My current and former players, you are my why. You are my motivation. You are the reason I get up every day and work as hard as I can to see you all reach your goals, to see you all set a goal and live out a dream is what gives me my inspiration every day to do what I do. Last but not least, my parents. I've kind of told you their story, but I just want you to know when others say, just be yourself, I am me because of you. In closing, I'm ready to get to work. My sense of urgency is for right now. It's to make sure that this team is prepared on January 1st in the Fiesta Bowl to be victorious versus Oklahoma State. And that's where our focus will be. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.